Hello everybody, welcome back to another installment of Life on the Internet. Today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be whipping up some brown butter fettuccine alfredo. So first off, as a side dish, I am going to have a Caesar salad. And I'm um, prepped all of the ingredients to whip up the Caesar dressing. So what we're going to do here is quite simple, just this little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to add a little bit of garlic, a teaspoon of that, and right here what really makes a good Caesar dressing is anchovy paste, believe it or not. So we're going to go ahead and pop this baby open. We're just going to add not too much, a little dash, we'll add more if needed. I'm going to start out with the half of a juice of a lemon. And we're just going to go ahead and mix this together. Until all the anchovy paste is dissolved into that lemon juice. And it's looking like this. We're going to add a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce. And some Dijon mustard. I'm gonna mix this solution now. All right, once it's smooth looking like that, we're gonna add some mayo. Start with this amount, mix. And our Parmesan. I'm going to add a little more lemon because I just want this to be a little thinner. And we're going to add some salt and some pepper. Pinch of salt. This is a rel relatively easy recipe. The only thing you might not have laying around is anchovy paste, right? <laughs> it really has that stuff laying around. And get a little more black pepper. Up next, I have some a baguette that I ripped up into chunks. Okay, so these are going to be our croutons for the salad. Um, I did not make the baguettes, store bought. Um, just put that out there. So nothing too crazy with that. So with this, all I'm going to add is some onion and garlic powder some cracked black pepper and bear in mind these have been sitting out for like an hour or two with croutons you want old bread preferably or dry bread so i didn't have any old bread so we dried it out as much as possible today um last but not least some olive oil all right now we're just going to toss We're going to go ahead and put this in a 300 degree oven, checking every 10 to 15 minutes. You want to do it, cook it really slow and low um, until light browning happens and it just becomes a crostini type texture. If you ever had a crouton, I'm pretty sure a lot of us have, that's what we're looking for with these. So we're here. Our pan is nice and heated. I'm using nonstick. We're using one pan today. So right here I have some about one, it was one chicken breast. I have seasoned it with salt and um, some homemade lemon pepper seasoning. I'll put the link to that right here so you guys can check that out in that video. I make, it's a wing video and I make homemade lemon pepper seasoning. That's what I've used for this. And also I squeezed a half a lemon on here to create a quick brine for that tenderness. So what I'm gonna do here is just add this to the pan, brown it a little bit, take it off the pan. So once your chicken starts looking par cooked like that, we want to sear only one side. It's my preference, you could go with yours. But this is ready to be taken off now. Now what's left right here is called fond. 
Yeah. That's extra flavor from that searing, and we're gonna to wanna to keep that there. So we're gonna turn down the heat now. We had that at high. We're gonna turn it to medium, and we're gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons of butter to the pan. You're not wanting to burn the butter, so if you need to take that pan off because it's too hot, go ahead and do so. Low and slow. We are just browning and not burning the butter. Now what browning does, it just adds an extra layer of depth to your dish. It almost, it smells buttery, but sweet at the same time. All right, to this we're gonna add about three cloves of garlic. I am a garlic fan, so we're gonna go ahead, do what you want. Right, to, right here I have about a half of a sweet onion and half of a yellow bell pepper. We're gonna add that. Mix it in. Once that garlic starts browning, Now we're gonna turn this down to low. Just kind of slowly saute these veggies together. Okay, it's been about two minutes. Now here I have fortified wine. So this is wine that you can just leave out on the counter. Um, it's great for cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about a third of a cup. And we're gonna go ahead and cook some of this alcohol out. So this is gonna take about three to five minutes. And we're going to add our heavy whipping cream. All right, we're gonna also let this reduce by half. We put the alcohol in first because we didn't want the heavy cream to curdle. If you were to add like any acidity to straight up to any type of dairy it would curdle so this was why we wanted to reduce the vermouth by cooking out that alcohol going through that chemical process so we don't have run into any issues with um, the emulsification of the two so we're gonna let this simmer down reduce by half and then we'll come back all right so this is reduced quite a bit I don't want it to reduce any more so like I said I'm gonna shut the heat off Hopefully it can calm the heck down. Now before doing anything else, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of nutmeg. This is traditional when making Alfredo. It gives it that Alfredo taste, believe it or not. That is, you know, unique to Alfredo itself, other than the Parmesan. Excuse the dingy mitten. <laughs> And we're gonna add some of my lemon pepper seasoning. Just a dash. Now it's time to add our Parmesan cheese to the mix. So some pre-shredded Parmesan that I've shredded myself. It's about a, two cups here. You'll see if I'll need all of it. Just wanna go ahead and just keep mixing. Yeah, so I used about two, I'm going to be using about two cups of the parm. So once everything's incorporated here, we're going to add our chicken back in to finish cooking. Then we're going to go ahead and plate. It's really that simple, everyone. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer than maybe buying a store-bought can but not, it's not enough to, for me at least, to continue buying canned stuff. You can definitely use it, and canned food definitely has its place, but tonight, you know, we're gonna be a little special. I'm gonna make it a little special for you guys, so hopefully you guys like this recipe and give it a shot. Look, everybody, check these out. Check these out. Croutons are done. It's crispy. Go ahead and put some of our dressing in. All right, croutons going in, guys. I'm gonna mix it all up. I'm going to add my pre-made 
fettuccine noodles, all of it. And we're going to fold it in. All right, photo shoot over. Let's taste. Nice and hot. Cheers. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> that's good guys that's the best fettuccine I've made it's nice and thick the sauce the richness of that butter is very nice the zestiness of that lemon pepper seasoning and the vermouth perfect let's go ahead and test our salad out here Mm -hmm. You tell me about that crunch, you tell me. That's good. You guys, thanks for joining me. Catch you in the next one. Take it easy, and as always, let's eat.